Talmor, Jeshin Mugachi. Talmor is my home. My family have worked the land for generations. My gran says the island does not belong to us, but we belong to the island. And we must be ready for a great evil is coming. And death follows with it. Listen and subscribe to the latest season of Undertow, The Harrowing, a story glass production presented by Realm, available wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, this is Rob Benedict. And I am Richard Spate. We were both on a little show you might know called Supernatural. It had a pretty good run, 15 seasons, 327 episodes. And though we have seen, of course, every episode many times, we figured, hey, now that we're wrapped, let's watch it all again. And we can't do that alone. So we're inviting the cast and crew that made the show along for the ride. We've got writers, producers, composers, directors, and we'll of course have some actors on as well, including some certain guys that played some certain pretty iconic brothers. It was kind of a little bit of a left field choice in the best way possible. The note from Kripke was, he's great, we love him, but we're looking for like a really intelligent Duchovny type. With 15 seasons to explore, it's going to be the road trip of several lifetimes. So please join us and subscribe to Supernatural Then and Now. And now, listen to this on the Toddcast Podcast. Sum 41 formed in 1996, coming up on 30 years together, although they may not hit that milestone as they're currently putting the wraps on the band, releasing new music and finalizing a final tour. It didn't take the band more than a few years after forming to get signed to Island Records. And then it was on. So many big radio songs, platinum success in Canada and in the US, over 30 million albums sold, seven Juno Award nominations, they won twice, Group of the Year in 2002, Rock Album of the Year in 2005. They were also nominated for a Grammy Award in 11 for Best Hard Rock Metal Performance for their song Blood in My Eyes. Foo Fighters went on to win that one. And when Sum 41's bassist, Cone, was a guest, we talked about the music that he grew up around, the first bands to really grab his attention. We talked about sightseeing while out on tour, how Tom from Gob joined Sum 41. We talked about the changing music industry, album sales, the last record that he bought. We nerded out about superpowers and collectible sports cards. And Cone shared his first concert story. Listen to this. Uh, what was my first concert? Um, it was a Edge Fest, actually, okay. in Toronto. It was yep. a festival. That was the first big one. Like, I went to local shows when I was 14 and 15, but I think I remember seeing, it was like, I think it was like Smashing Pumpkins and Green Day, and, uh, it was even like Matthew Good and the Tea Party and stuff like that, and they were all playing at Edge Fest, I think it was like 96. Seven or something, mm-hmm. even like an like Earth or something concert. like that. Those guys played probably. Those guys oh, and Hole was playing yeah. there. I think. Yeah. yeah. Listen to this on the Toddcast podcast is brought to you by Tedco RV Supplies in Langley, an ICBC approved repair shop. Visit them on Facebook and Twitter at Tedco RV Supplies. Welcome to the small town of Chinook, where faith runs deep and secrets run deeper. In this new thriller, religion and crime collide when a gruesome murder rocks the isolated Montana community. Everyone is quick to point their fingers at a drug-addicted teenager, but local deputy Ruth Vogel isn't convinced. She suspects connections to a powerful religious group. Enter federal agent V.B. Loro, who has been investigating a local church for possible criminal activity. The pair form an unlikely partnership to catch the killer, unearthing secrets that leave Ruth torn between her duty to the law her religious convictions, and her very own family. But something more sinister than murder is afoot, and someone is watching Ruth. Chinook, starring Kelly Marie Tran and Sanaa Lathan. Listen to Chinook wherever you get your podcasts. Do you know what lies within nothing? No. Do you know where it ends? Do you want Yes. <laughs> Counterbalance, a high fantasy audio drama. Season 2, coming.
coming 15th of October 2023. Learn more on trilunas.com. The Moth Podcast shares incredible true stories told live. And for our next episode, we're visiting space. And all of us here today, even tonight, we're on this spaceship Earth amongst all the chaos of the universe whipping around the sun. Stories about space travel, science, and wonder. The episode's available right now. Subscribe to The Moth Podcast to make sure you hear it.